Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this design with an accent finger as well. Um, what you will need for this is um, a purple polish. This is China Glaze's Purple Fiction. You'll also need a green. This is China Glaze's The Grass is Lime Greener. For stamping purposes, I will be using a black stamping polish. And this is, this one's from Queen. And I will also be using this pink um, polish from China Glaze to fill in my design. And this is called Purple Panic. And for the design today, we will be using Queen Plate 42 Design A. You will also need a clear transparent stamper of some sort. For the water marble you are going to need water that is the same temperature as your polishes and make sure and loosen your caps on your polish before you begin. If this happens to you, it just means that there's polish on top of your surface still, but you can still use this water. So just spread that out. I find that that happens usually if it's colder in your room than it usually is, which is what's happening to me today. Shimmer polishes don't really like to spread on your water, so just make sure and give your cup a good twist if that's happening to you. All right, we are going to stop there. Take a water marbling tool of some sort. Right, you're going to, once you're done doing your design, you're going to find a spot that you like and dip your finger in. Blow on the surface of the water to dry the polish. Take a Q-tip and clean it all up. Pull your finger out. And there is your design. I also forgot to mention that you will prep your fingers with white nail polish. I use finger paints, paper mache, and you will also need to use some type of latex or cuticle barrier to protect your cuticles. So now what I'm doing is I'm just cleaning up from the water marble before taking off my latex. Then you'll go over it with some top coat. This is Chef Sweet from Sally Sally's. All right, now we're going to do a design on our ring finger. We made our decal previously before water marbling our fingers.
take some clear polish It should lift right off, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Whoop, there we go. Then I just take more top coat, layer it over top. I had also top coated this nail previously to putting on the design and let it dry. And there you have it. Here is today's design. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.